hello buddies so uh, in this video we are going to see about i'm going to show you how to do a grid layout in jetpack compose so we have a grid, grid layout just like to show you we have uh, lazy grid layout and lazy vertical grid layout and lazy horizontal grid layout so both things we are going to see so it will be look like this uh, in the preview actually so it will be useful when we are using uh, the batch status in big screens like tablet landscape mode uh, so, so those kind of things it will be very useful so let's get started like that like so you don't want to add any dependency you could just create a project and you can very, very directly start into it i'll just give and this is a preview for me okay let's create one grid layout in lazy vertical grid i'm just creating a vertical grid so if you are creating a vertical grid and you have to give the columns specifications okay it's like columns means grid cell will be there grid cell dot adaptive fixed fixed size okay so the thing is i will explain what are the three things okay so first we'll create with flex flux so adaptive means it is a minimum width of the particular cell okay and based on the minimum width other things will be adjust and fixed means you have to define it so it is a vertical right so it will go in this way so in this vertical thing how many co column you need to have in the cell how many cell you need to have so two means two so it is if when it is coming to horizontal it will come to this way so only up and down two will become so it will go like this so this is vertical so this that is the only difference between horizontal and vertical okay so then we have content padding we'll just add content padding grid cell so content padding means the in between padding also it will count okay okay not grid cell adding value dot 16 dot dp okay so then we'll add a modifier modifier dot fill max size okay then horizontal so horizontal arrangement and all those things not this here horizontal arrangement arrangement dot center space between so you you know that center means it will be in the center space between means one first one is for starting second one is and second third one is if that one is in the same row means it will be in center so like that it will we, we saw in flex column right the same thing it will be arranging so we'll give like uh arrangement center and vertical arrangement will be there so same thing also it will be in top okay so vertical arrangement will be in this space horizontal arrangement will be in this space so you can give as per your needs okay so these things are done so inside here it is a as usual lazy load lazy column lazy flow column lazy grid all same thing so if we are having item means item single item means single item if you have a list of item means items okay so in this item i am giving items and i am giving uh 20 right okay so inside here i am just creating a box and inside the box modifier dot fill max size so not fill max size i am just defining some size like um, 150 so not sorry hun, or something like this okay then we'll change based on that okay okay then i am just background color i'm just uh, giving the same gray color what i'm giving in the example okay so inside that i'm just giving the text okay so text is equal to uh, item okay item comma modifier okay that is a modifier modifier dot align align center okay alignment center okay so this is the one so in the item we have to give the item index okay so i'm just taking the index and i'm giving the index over here okay so now it will be printed like this i'm just re reloading the uh, layout so you can see the same layout again okay so when we are when we are doing this thing so this is like so you can see it is a gray oh so that is a light gray this is a gray okay light gray I just change to light gray okay now you can see the items so where is it yeah so now i am running the items again yeah so okay yeah so you can see it here so this is completely uh, filled so there is no space in the example we have a spacing so if you want to interact and see you can click here so start interacting mode and you can 
scroll the item and you can interact with the UIs. Okay, so this is how you can do it, and you can stop the interaction mode. Okay, so that was for for getting the space fit between those things. So we have here. Okay, so we have the horizontal and vertical arrangement, right? So instead of this center, we have space by. So okay, in the space by, we have to give how how long, we how what space we need. Okay, so in vertical arrangement also we need. So in horizontal and vertical, we will get. The same space as equal to the grid. Okay, so now you can see uh, once I load, reload this one, you will get the uh, horizontal and vertical one. Okay, yeah. So you can see the space. Okay, so this is a grid, normal grid. How to use the grid? This is fine. So in the count item, you can give the array list item. So you can design whatever the layout you want inside the here. Okay. So the main use of this one, right? So we have we are. I'm going to preview this one in. Um, landscape mode so from the in the landscape mode we will check this one okay once again fun uh, landscape preview okay i am doing landscape preview this one is at compose we need at at compose then at preview at preview so inside preview so uh, if when uh, when we are giving this one okay uh, okay sorry so it will show the normal preview only so it won't give the landscape preview so for landscape preview we need to add some uh, uh, we need to change some um, what is that mm, properties inside the preview thing okay so first of all show background is equal to true okay then name I am giving some name landscape preview okay then we have to give the width width should be what is any screen width right okay? any screen width you need to give height db height db width what it means here it is like this width right what well, this screens width and height we need to give so here i am giving uh just 720 and 360 as height and width and ui mode ui mode will be there Config so UI mode will be configuration dot landscape. Okay, so when we are giving this one, you will get the landscape uh, thing item over here. Okay, so you can here here. So when I am reloading this, you will get this this item over here. Okay, in the landscape. So here is the problem will occur. Uh, the where is the useful thing for? So you can see. So this item is okay. Good. So when you are seeing the in the landscape, so same two item is available over here but it will be enlarged so if you are showing any image item with any nice card view in this landscape so it will be elongated and it will be stretched out in the preview okay so in this phase what you can do is right so here we are giving fixed two right so you either you have to uh, two things is there okay so is it fixed two that's why it is showing in the landscape also fixed two okay so here fixed size is there okay so inside size you can give like 150.db so if you gave this one everything will be 150.db so if they uh, what is the existing 150.db it will go to the next row so it is like 150.db 150.db so it is like this but you can uh, see it over here it is not well arranged so if you are giving like this we have to be well arranged so this is not well arranged okay so this this case you can use it like when you have particularly in a half of screens or any something like that you can use it otherwise you can go with what you going here okay but you have another one thing so here adaptiveness okay adaptive so in this adaptive what is the use of adaptive is it is the minimum with what you are giving here the same I am giving 120.dp okay so what I am giving inside this width is a minimum width of the cell it is not a maximum width it is a minimum width okay so what it will do it will uh, for both things that will be a minimum this 120 so remaining space this space is there right so the minimum space will be equally divided to both items okay above 120 so above 120 so it is a 120 120 and remaining item which is having is nearly 50 dp means it will split the 25 25 divided by and it will be equally equal okay so i am just rerunning this one so based on this it will it will go like uh, it will arc by yeah see so it is like so it is excess of one same here you can see it like one two three four you can you will get the same item width size but 
um, multiple items it's not a two items so the thing is you have to design uh, mainly for 120 dp and it have to adapt you with 150 more than 150 to 180 in that range you have to adapt you because so this is the 120 range in the landscape what it's showing so this is nearly one not 120 it may, maybe 120 or maybe 130 or 40 like that will become okay so that time so you have to design the content only for in the particular thing you don't want to it it won't break your ui in the landscape mode also if you are use if we are using this lens this one okay so that is a space so if you want interior inner space like that means you can use it so you can here also you can see we can scroll and see what is the item what are the items over here everything you can we can scroll and see okay in the interaction mode yeah so this is the uh, basic usage of grid view in uh, portrait and landscape mode so you can use it in your jetpack compass